Hello, Squirrel Tribe 2.0. Y'all, I have got to tell you what happened last night and then what happened today, but mainly what happened last night. I was, I wanted to do this video yesterday, but it was dark when we got home and then the kid was like in a mood because of what happened yesterday and the man was like in a mood because of what happened yesterday. So then I was like, I'll wait and save it for today and I've been dying to get here. Um, it is 424 Central Standard Time. Chomping at the bit to tell you what happened. Okay, so listen, yesterday, the kid sends me a text and she goes, hey, can we please go see Madam Web? It's the new Marvel movie. It's been out, I guess, for a few days, maybe a week or two. I have no idea how long it's been out. It's got that Dakota Johnson chick, the one who's the daughter of Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson. They, they made a baby and her name's Dakota. So she's in this Madam Web thing. I'd seen the preview, but I, I didn't really know much about it. All I knew is like it was like a spider who could see the future. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. So I tell the kid, I said, sure, we'll go watch it. We decided we were gonna go to a 6.30 movie. So we came home after school and I had made crock pot chicken. And the kid was like, oh my God, crock pot chicken is boring. It's so just like, what do I do with it? Because it's like shredded chicken. And she's like, what do I do with it? So I made her nachos with it, huh? I made the man barbecue chicken with it with some potatoes that I had made and some vegetables. I made myself chicken lettuce wraps with it and everybody was happy and it was so freaking tasty. It was ridiculous, right? Butcher box chicken, I'm telling you y'all, it's the best out there. So we have dinner and then we leave and we go to go to the movie. And when we get to the movie theater, there's like nobody in the parking lot. So we're like, cool, we're gonna have this whole place to ourselves. Cause when I bought the tickets online, cause I use the AMC app, all right? So I have the AMC app because I have the Stubbs rewards thing. It's like $15 a year, which then saves you, you get, um, there's no fees when you buy your tickets online cause you have to pick your seats and whatnot. Plus we get a dollar off anytime we buy anything at concessions. Plus you get a free upgrade on size. Plus you get free refills on large popcorns and all kinds of perks. And every time I spend $50, I get a $5 coupon, all kinds of stuff. And with the amount of movies the kid likes to go see with her friends and we like to go do, it makes perfect sense. We spend $15 for the year, but then we save like a hundred or two throughout the year with everything that we end up getting, right? So we get to the theater. So, so, so I bought the tickets at like, what time did I buy the tickets? I bought the tickets at like two, two thirty, whatever online. And there was no other seats sold. It was just the three of us. And it was like the small theater. And I was like, cool, we're going to have this whole place to ourselves, whatever. Right? So we get to the theater after we ate here, we get there and I'm like, since we just ate dinner, we're not getting popcorn. We're not getting anything to drink. You don't need nothing else. We're just going to go watch the movie because also the movie started at six 30, my window time, which the man has been working with me on the intermittent fasting, that window closes at seven. So I was like, no, we're done. We're not going to have anything else. And it'll, it, it'll be what it'll be. Right? So we go in. Yeah. So we get there and we go in to go to our seats and we walk in. And right in front of us, a, a gentleman is walking in by himself. And so he's going to the same theater and he goes up to the top row, which is where we always sit with like the top middle, right? Like, like the best seats in the house. He goes up to the top row and he goes to the far left by himself. And I'm like, okay, so it's just gonna be the four of us in this small theater, small theater. Like there's two front, front rows, you know, the ones where you're like this while you're watching a movie and you're like, I can't see anything. My neck hurts really bad. Everything's making me dizzy because it's so flipping close. So there's two rows of that. Then there's the little walking path. Then there's like one little row for wheelchairs and handicap. And then there are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> Have to do it. Seven regular rows, because we were in G. That's the top one, right? So there's nine rows, 10 rows, for this entire theater. It's tiny. We walk in and the man goes up, not my man, the other man, goes up to the top left. And I, I pan my view and there's like seven kids sitting in the row in front of us all the way to the end. It's, it's the man, the kid, and then myself. And we start walking and the kid, I hear her under her breath go, Gah. like not happy, right? And I was like, what? She goes, they go to my school. And I was like, oh, okay. So we're walking up the stairs and one of the kids said her name and you know, puts his fist out, so like fist bump. And she looks at him and keeps walking. And I was like, oh, well then obviously we don't like him. So he's still holding his hand out for me. And I was like, she said no, so nope, not for me. You're not getting it for me. If my kid said no, then I don't like either. So we go up and we sit, right? And I, so it's the man, it's the kid, and then it's me. And we're in the middle, and then the rows of the row of kids is like right here. So you have the dad, the child, myself, rows of kids, seven of them, right? Three girls, four boys. 
and the previews haven't started yet. It's like 20 minutes till the movie starts, whatever. So they're like loud. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, the man hates it when there's loud people during the movie because we've paid to see this, even if he doesn't really want to see it. If, if they're loud, it's going to be, it's going to be a problem, right? And so I, I turned to the kid and I'm like, hey, so what's up? And she goes, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them because they aren't the nicest people, if you will. They're like the, I want to call them, they were probably like the more popular crowd. Like my kid's popular, but not in the sense of like cheerleader football popular, more in the just people like her popular, which is why when she came in, they're like, hey, but the boy who said it to her, she's not a fan of because I don't know why, but we'll get into that later, I'm sure. But so they're sitting in the row in front of us, right? And the movie hasn't started yet. And then we're, I'm like, it's going to be fine. Cause one of the girls tells the, everybody to shush when the, the, uh, um, previews start, right? So the previews start and you know, it starts to get a little bit darker when the previews start. So the kid and I are like, let's go to the bathroom before this fully starts. So we go to the bathroom, we come back in. And as soon as we sit down, y'all, I shit you not 15 more kids came in like 15 more all from her school. So now you've got like 22, 23, 24, 25. I, don't, I can't math of her school kids right here. And all 15 of them come up to the top row and I'm looking at the kid and I'm like, that's not feasible. They did not buy tickets to this top row because there's not that many seats available. And I know the tickets I bought and I can guarantee you that man bought his ticket. So they walk in front of all three of us and then they sit down and they sit all the way up against Kevin, up against the man. So it's all these kids, the man, the kid, myself, all these open seats. Now all 15 that came in couldn't fit here, obviously, because we were, were right in the middle. So some of them had to go to the row in front and then some went to the row in front. So you had this whole entire section right here of seventh and eighth graders. Okay. Okay. And the previews are starting and they're loud. They're not quiet. And I'm like, Oh, this is going to be such a shit show. And I'm like, you just got to be calm. These kids go to school with your kid. You cannot embarrass your child. You can't say anything. Don't do anything. Let her tell you if she wants something done until she says something, we do nothing and made eye contact with the man. And I guess we were in the same, you know, mind frame of, you know, this is going to suck, whatever else. So then two more people come in, two, two girls come in and they sit on the second row, but at this end, right? So you have this gaggle of kids over here. You've got the two girls that came in here. They're probably like high school. You have the guy in the corner and then you have the three of us. Well, the movie starts and the kids are like paying attention in the beginning. There's some whispering cause you know, they're, they're kids, right? So there's some whispering and then whatever, but literally like 45 minutes, maybe 60 minutes into the movie, it, they're, they're all getting up like in, in like little spurts, two or three will get up and then like run across the front and then go out and like get a drink or popcorn and then come back or go pee or go whatever else. And then you have little side chats or whatever. And I'm like, I'm focused on the movie. I'm focusing on the movie and the kids next to me focusing on the movie. And I turned to her at one point and I was like, you know, if you're not liking the movie, we could just leave, go tell them that it's a little too loud in there and get a refund and we can see it some other time. She's like, well, we could, but I'm invested now. I want to see how it ends. And I was like, all right. So we're like an hour and 10 minutes into this movie. The man has fallen asleep probably two or three times. Side note, Madam Web is not worth spending your money on. Don't do it. Okay. Um, wait till it comes out on Netflix or something and watch it for free. So he's fallen asleep a couple times. And then, then in the second row, the one girl who was loud the whole time, the, the, that one, y'all, y'all know what it was like when you were in school. The one who wanted everybody to pay attention to her, like the, had to be the center of everybody's attention, that kind of, this was this girl, right? Which I can understand why my daughter was like, mm, no, we're not friends. I get it. I, I fully, I wasn't friends with those girls either. So I understand. So this girl starts getting loud, loud, loud. And I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on in the movie. And she's just loud. And she's like yelling across like three or four people and whatever else. And I turned to the kid and I said, this is how much I love you. I hope you understand how much I love you. And at this point she goes, do whatever you got to do. Cause they're annoying the crap out of me. So <laughs> the mom and me finally leaned forward and I said, Hey, I'm going to need you guys to either please be quiet or leave because we are trying to watch this movie. We have paid for tickets. So I'd like you to be quiet, please. So we can watch the movie. And the girl goes, well, she took my phone. At which point I said, listen, I'm not your mother and I'm not your mother, but if you do not give her your phone back, her phone back, I'll figure out who your mothers are and we'll have a conversation. Please stop whatever you're doing so we can watch the movie. If you're not going to pay attention, leave. 
right? I, I went full mom. Try, I tried not to embarrass the kid. I didn't want to, but she gave me permission. So I said something. I was so proud of myself for waiting as long as I did. If there had been other people in the theater, like I, I, I was like, other people could have said something too. We happen to be the closest. So we were hearing all of it the most, right? But as soon as I said something, I saw the guy in the top right corner get up and leave. And I was like, well, maybe he's, he's tired of dealing with it. Maybe he realizes the movie sucks too and he's not gonna stay for it. Or maybe he's going to pee, get a whatever, whatever. Two, not even two minutes later, he comes back in, goes upstairs, sits down. Y'all, y'all, 30 seconds later, if that, person who works for the theater walks in, walks up the stairs, walks to the aisle right in front of us, starts walking down and says, get up, everybody up, out, yells at them. Not a single kid tries to fight it. Not a single kid says anything. At the same time, it's like an entire class just got up and they all left. And I turned to the kid and I said, they're going to think that was me. They're going to think that somehow I got them kicked out. So I hope you do not have to deal with this shit on Monday. And she's like, I don't really care. She goes, that one girl, I don't like her. The way she looked at you and dad and me when we came in, I kind of wanted to, you know, push it downstairs anyway, because she got a little angry. She like, I do. It's fine. She gets it from her mama. Um, she's like, it's fine. I dare her to say something to me. And uh, she was like, it was annoying, like whatever. So then it's just the three of us, the man in the top right corner and the two people here. And we get to watch the rest of the movie, like the other last like 30 minutes maybe of this movie in silence with nobody running back and forth, nobody yelling for a phone, nobody knocking over their popcorn or spilling their drink or laughing or fart jokes or whatever else, right? Movie ends, broski that had come in and scooted them all out comes in and hands us all tickets to a free movie. He's like, listen, I'm really sorry, you know, that you had to deal with that here are whatever. And I told him, I said, I was trying not to, you know, because my kid goes to the same school as these kids and I was trying not to make a big deal about it, whatever. And he goes, I don't even think they were supposed to be in here. He said, this is a PG-13 movie. They don't have an adult with them. They probably, they probably bought tickets for Kung Fu Panda or something and then all, you know, ended up in here. So they were kicked out immediately. So we got tickets. I asked the guy in the corner when we went to leave, I was like... I said, I said to him, I said, I'm sorry that, you know, it took so long for anything to happen and for us to say anything since we were close. Or he goes, no, I understand. I saw you had a kid. I thought maybe, you know, they all knew each other and I get it. He goes, but as soon as you did say something, I was like, my turn. And he's like, so I went out and told him that these kids are ruining the movie. So he went to, you know, whatever. And I was like, we got to stick together. <laughs> but I felt bad because I, I kept trying to remember when I was their age, was I like that? And then I remembered, oh, wait. My mom didn't let me just go to the theater like that um, and with a big group of people like that because she, she knew that it would just be a shit show and people would hate us because most 13, 14, 15 year olds don't know how to control themselves in a movie theater, you know, volume wise or whatever else. So that was very, very interesting last night. I'm very curious what's going to happen when the kid goes to school on Monday because two of the people in that group were her actual friends. She sent them text messages and she's like, hey, listen, you know, we didn't get y'all kicked out. Your little friends got y'all kicked out. But, you know, my mom had to say something because we paid for the movie and blah, blah, blah. And the two friends that were there, they were like, no, we get it. We were because they were the ones trying to shut everybody up and it just didn't work. So, y'all, I told her, I said, what's going to happen now is that the next time you want to go to the movies there, um, they're going to say that no kids are allowed in without an adult. I can guarantee it's going to end up causing such an issue that they're not going to let any kids in without an adult, which would mean that the time that her and like two or three friends go to a movie where they do behave, that might be done with. And I'm like, you know, blame it on, on the few who freaking muck it up for the rest of them. So that was that. It was an interesting Friday night. So then we came home afterwards and we binge watched uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine because it's on, I don't know if it's Hulu or Netflix. I don't know. We're binge watching book Brooklyn Nine-Nine, wherever that is. I think we're on season two now. I think we started season two last night. So that's, that's good. So that's that, y'all. Squirrel Drive 2.0. I love y'all. Don't mind me. I'm not, I'm not trying to like self-promote here. I'm just really thirsty. But also really cute stickers. Hold on. Mm-hmm. So this morning, well, so we stayed up way too late last night, went to bed at like midnight, right? So this morning we get up and I'm like, hey, let's go to the gym. So I get the kid up, the man does what he's got to do, recording and editing and whatever. And we go to the gym, we leave at like 10, 15, right? Now, my eating window, our intermittent fasting eating window is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., right? 
And I'm like, all right, it's already like almost 1030 by the time we get in the car and get out of here. And then we got to get to the gym. So like, we'll say like 1050 and then we got to like start working out. So then we're done like 12, maybe 1215, 1230. So then maybe I can eat by like one something. I'm literally doing math, food math in my head. Like this is how I live now doing food math in my head. So we get to the gym and I'm like, all right, I'm going to do my workout, whatever, which I killed it. <laughs> so I know I killed it today. And the whole time I'm working out, I'm going, oh yes, one rep for a potato, one rep for a whatever. Like I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat afterwards. So then we get done. We go eat at one of our favorite places, uh, two birds. I've mentioned it 10,000 times. We go to eat at two birds and they had this, y'all, y'all, they had this steak and potatoes with scrambled eggs and this like cilantro, cilantro crema and something sauce on it and it had bacon pieces in it. Look, I'm drooling right now. I'm drooling right now. It was so good. Please hold. I had to like swallow spit. It was so effing good. I was like, oh my gosh. So then we got done eating. Then we went to our place, Causeway Coffee, which I've mentioned numerous times. For anybody who's visiting the Okaloosa area, anywhere from anywhere, well, Okaloosa isn't Pensacola, but anywhere from Pensacola to Panama City, you got to bring your butts right into the middle towards Destin, Miramar, Santa Rosa, because there's a lot of great stuff. So then we go to Causeway Coffee and get it and get, um, get um, a Lotus energy drink is what I got, as you can tell, because I'm like, right? So then after that, we went over to PetSmart. I had to order food for Max, right? So I ordered him food and we went in there to pick it up. But while we were there, I was like, we got to get him something. We got to give him a bath tomorrow. He has his follow-up vet appointment. For those of you who know that he had this whole fiasco with his tail and everything, um, he has a follow-up appointment on Monday. So he's going to go in and he gets his anal gland expressing, which is uh, sounding, uh, gosh, he's doing that. He's doing his yearly physical checkup and whatever else. And then they're going to check his tail and make sure everything's good. Side note, antibiotics for dogs. Turns out makes him pee 75,000 times a day and poop 10 times a day. It is aggressive the way stuff cycles through his body while he's on antibiotics. He's got a couple days left of those but he'll go Monday for that. So we'll give him a bath tomorrow. So I told the kid, I said, let's walk through and, you know, pet smart before we check out. Cause there was a line before we go pick up the um, stuff we'd ordered online. Let's go look through. Look at my kid fam. Look, I'm going to tell you. So this is our pet smart bag. She found a shampoo for him, which is, I don't know if we're going to use it. Um, naturally derived ingredients. It smells really, really good. This tropical clean. I don't know if you guys have ever used this, but she of course picked papaya and coconut. And on the back, it lets you know that mild coconut cleanser, you know, right there, but this is the only one that didn't say coconut oil. It does not say coconut oil anywhere in here. So I stood in the snore, in the snore, in the store for like 10 minutes, sniffing the crap out of it because I have realized that it's not just ingesting coconut oil that causes me issues. If I am in an area where they're using a lot of coconut oil to bake or cook or fry or whatever things, just inhaling it is enough to make me like, huh, which is slightly terrifying just so we're all fully aware. But I literally sat there sniffing the crap out of this thing for a good 10 minutes and perfectly fine. So this one is what we will be giving him his bath with. This is what my kid found. I don't, I had to say yes. We don't, we don't need it. You don't need this at all. Just so we're all fully aware. Uh, no dog needs this. But he's going to look so freaking cute dressed up as a shark after his bath. Yo, look at it. Look it, it's got a little thing on it and a little thing on it and then a little thing on it. I'm so excited to give Max a bath so he can be in his shark hooded towel. Microfiber, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Adjustable belly band with fasteners, machine washable. Now it says large, extra large. And Maxi Poo is hitting almost 80 pounds, so hopefully this works. They had one that was a Nemo, whatever kind of fish that is, clownfish? They had a clownfish one and they had a shark one. The kid was adamant we get the shark one so he's gonna get a bath tomorrow and then he's gonna get to walk back to the apartment looking like a little baby sharky so that's exciting then we went to the Destin Commons which is a shopping center I've mentioned it to you guys before there is a place in there called the Destin Food Hall which itself I'm not a fan of it's meh but today was their one year anniversary of this, this food hall being open and our friends, PB and J, which are Philip and Jess Bauer, PB and J, they have a little restaurant in there. So today was their one year, their first birthday, if you will. So we went in and they had a happy birthday sign up on their um, kiosk thing. And then Jess was wearing a party hat. She had party hats to give out to kids and like the little, um, the one like, and then it does the, I don't know what those are called. It doesn't make the noise, but it does the unraveling thing. I don't know what those are called. What the hell are those called? 
No, not, I don't know. She had those things too. So we went in there and they were giving away things. Um, it was a gift bag with purchase. So we bought a thing of sweet potato fries because my kid loves their sweet potato fries, which one helps us support a local business, right? By buying food, but then also got us a fun little bag with a balloon on it. But I'm excited because now I have another coffee mug cause I need more, but I'm going to use it for tea later on today. PB and J bakery and cafe. For those of you who come this way, you have to check them out. They don't deliver anything online. They are a small cafe bakery um, in the food hall, but they're really, really cool. And their food is friggin' amazing, just so you're all fully aware. So that's that. The other thing we ended up doing, because today has just been a very fun and hectic day, there is a brand new place open in the commons called Salty Paws. Listen, listen. I saw them on Instagram first and started following them and then they followed back. So that's cool. Um, but we went in there today and everything in there, I am, well, the man's lucky that we're not broke right now because I wanted to buy everything. Everything in there was punny. You know what I mean? Punny. They had, they had Starbucks bowls, but they were called Starbark. Star, so it's, it looked like the Starbucks Lego lo, logo, but it said Starbucks in it. And it said, um, Frenchy something or other. Oh, I can't remember. I took pictures, but they're on my phone and I'm recording with my phone. So I'll, I'll put them in the community post later, but they had, um, they had so many like super cute things, but the kid picked out a toy for Max. So she got him this thing, right? But it's like, it's like a, a water bottle kind of like, it's really hard to squeeze and it's very soft, but it looks like a, um, Bloody Mary, which is the most disgusting drink in the history of drinks. So this is just ironic that she picked the grossest thing ever for him, but it's a barking brunch plush toy collection. I don't even know what this means, but people using business as a force for good is what this little package thing says. I don't know what this is, but it was really, really neat. So what it is, it is durable, double layered fabrics, reinforced stitching for extra durability, interactive features offer hours of fun. I don't know what that means either. And it's, oh look, they have a whole lot of things. So it's got a crunchy bottle and a bungee. Wait, what? Oh, wait. So it doesn't really, I mean, it kind of pulls, but not, oh, and that rat. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That didn't do anything. I thought maybe it would squeak. So you've got this little thing that kind of pulls this little thing that crinkles. That's just, you know, a celery. And then this thing, thank goodness it doesn't squeak because we have so many squeaky toys, but he's going to love this. Like it'll work his jaw, which I don't know if that's good or bad for dogs, but we also got him. We got him a little cookie, little doggy cookie. And I have to remember it's for him and not me because I feel like it'd be disgusting for adults. So what does it smell like? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like anything. I'm not going to take a bite of this, but we got him a little cookie to try and Kevin will get to pick up that poop later. So there's that, but I'm really excited about this new store. I, I like local businesses, small businesses, things like that. So this is exciting. And they had a lot of really cool stuff in there. I like their logo because hello, it's a Jeep. Okay. So that made me happy. And then last but not least, because you know, whatever we went to Ulta, I needed more, um, makeup remover wipes. I get the Clinique ones with the micellar or whatever. Cause it's the only thing that will take off mascara and stuff for me. And I had seen this and I had a gift card to Ulta. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it. And I got this thing. A lot of people have been using this. Um, the gu gu gua sha. I don't know how you're supposed to say that gua sha. <laughs> gua sha. I don't know what it's called, but this is the thing where you're supposed to like push up here. And they say that it helps with like nasal congestion. <clears throat> Can, oh, that was gross, but I get it a lot. So I'm hoping this will help. And then it's supposed to like help with your, <clears throat> this whole thing here again, don't quite know how, so I got to figure it out so I can get rid of the snot sound and the, that thing. Hopefully this will do something and it's stainless steel. So it'll feel cold, which will feel good. But then I was convinced by TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and everybody else to get the Clinique, this thing, the black honey, everybody's been talking about this thing. It's called black honey. It's their almost lipstick. I don't know what it is. My mom worked for Clinique forever ago, and I'm pretty sure I had this at one point, but now it's like the craze for everybody. So I used the gift card to get it. I told the kid I would use it once. And if, look at the color. And if it sucked, she could have it or I could return it. Do I have anything on? No, let's see what it looks like. Cause I don't know. Let's see. I mean, it's not awful. 
Not really the best color for me though. That's how you gotta do it. Whatever. Mm. Mm. Not my color. Doesn't taste great either. If they put a little flavor to it, that'd be better. Can you flavor it like tequila? No, nah, I'd say, you know, if it tastes like margaritas, eh, no. So I'll probably give this to the kid. It'll look really good on her skin tone because she can get away with literally anything. So there's that. So that's that. Yesterday was, the movies were, that's all I got to say. Today has been a lot of fun with the gym and with the, you know, breakfast and coffee and going to the commons and everything else. It's just been, it's been a good Saturday. It's sunny out. I thought it was supposed to rain today. It's like 70 degrees. It's almost perfection. It's also the first day of spring break. So last night, like I said, when we went to the movies, there was like a handful of cars in the parking lot. Today, there are five bajillion people everywhere. It took forever to park at the commons. And then just up and down, there have been so many accidents between last night and today. It's ridiculous. It's like people go on vacation and forget how to drive and don't pay attention. Oh, and then we saw this dumbass driving a golf cart on, on 98. Scenic 98 is a 45 to 55 mile per hour, three lane on each side road. So it's a six lane highway, if you will. And people fly on there, okay? And this golf cart, which legally you can't be on a road that's over 35 miles per hour, is just tooling along on scenic, on, on highway 98. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, you have to learn the rules of places that you're gonna go visit. Like, don't, please don't come here and think you can take a golf cart onto main roadways because I don't know if y'all remember, but there was an accident that a couple months ago and one person actually did die from the golf cart accident. So just don't do it. That's that, y'all. That's all. I think my uh, caffeine from Causeway Coffee really did its job, just so we're all fully aware, because I am like wide awake. I am wired. So there's that. Anything else? No? Y'all got anything? Huh? No? Okay. I think tonight's dinner will be a replay of last night's shredded chicken and some stuff. And I think we're gonna end up watching um, more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The kid said she wanted to watch a movie tonight and I don't remember which one. I don't remember which movie, I gotta ask her. I think it was something old, but I don't know what. I'd like to watch Back to the Future. I don't know why. I feel like watching some Michael J. Fox and some, what's his name? What's Doc's name? Christopher Lloyd, ha, I remembered. I feel like watching them. So maybe we'll watch Back to the Future later. Who knows? Probably won't see you guys tomorrow, but Mimosa Monday is on deck, my dudes. It might just be me on Monday. I'm not sure yet, but either way, there will be bottle popping and cheers and sips. So Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, be there or be square. Or just, you know, it, if you want to, it's fine. If not, it's okay too. I still love you. So Squirrel Tribe 2.0, deuces. See y'all later. Bye.